Recently, I got the question from buyers that were helping, uh, how do backup contracts work? You know, is a backup contract something that a buyer, you know, would be interested in doing? What's the benefit? Are there any drawbacks? So essentially in our sales contract, we do have the ability to, if a home has gone under contract with someone else, uh, but you want to go ahead and become a backup contract, then there's language that we can introduce into the sales agreement. And if the buyer and seller agree, then the following happens. This second or backup contract is just that. It is a backup. It is is basically kind of sitting on the shelf. And if, if, and only if the primary contract, the, the one that is actually under contract, uh, you know, ratified and as an active, you know, purchase agreement, if that were for some reason to become voided, then automatically the backup contract becomes the primary contract. So it makes sense. You've got to have already in there all the pricing and terms and conditions of what your backup contract would will be and have and what will be effective. Uh, because again, that is an automatic thing. If the primary goes away, contract number one, then your contract number two becomes the primary contract. So a couple of questions that we get along the lines of these are, well, first of all, you know, well, what if I find another home? I'm a, I'm, I'm a backup contract, but what if I find another home in the meantime? And the answer is at any time before receiving a notice that you have become the primary, that in other words, that first contract has gone away, any time before that, you can simply withdraw yourself as the backup contract. Secondly, when do the various things like, you know, having your home inspection, if you're having one and, and all the different deadlines that we look at in a sales contract, well, when do those kick in? When is, when is that applicable? And we tend to write these so that those dates are only effective when you become the primary contract. So again, as a backup contract, you sort of keep your foot in the door. You have specific pricing and terms that are already established, already agreed to between you and that seller in the event that they lose that first contract. But it doesn't obligate you beyond the point that if you become the primary, then you're going to have your typical deadlines, your typical actions that you would take as a buyer. If you find something else in the meantime, you simply change your mind, you want to withdraw that contract, you can do so very simply. And that basically tears up the backup contract. If you have other questions on how this works or anything else, how having to do with our local real estate market, we're always here to help. 703-803-3893. We appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for future real estate related videos and information. And if you've got a real estate question you'd like us to handle, go to www.theartofrealestateteam.com, resources, and scroll down to Just Ask Art where you can submit your question and who knows, perhaps it'll be the topic of our next video. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.